everybody. It's Denise from Wonderland Boutique and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be starting with bow making 101. Uh, when I mean bow making 101, we're talking the simplest thing that you need to do to make any bow. However, it's so important that you do this on every single bow that you make. And what am I talking about? That is lining your clip. Let me show you. So this is an alligator clip. These are my preferred choice of clips to use on all my hair bows. Now, why would you line an alligator clip? Lots of different reasons. One, it makes it look very polished and complete when you're done with the bow because you don't want to see a piece of metal sticking out or showing through one of your bows that you've made. And then secondly, believe it or not, this actually helps line the alligator clip so it doesn't slip out of um, anyone's hair, whether it's an adult or a child. Lining the alligator clip will help keep it in the hair. Now, I have thin hair, but I have a ton of it. I use my own alligator clips in my hair. I line all of them partially, not all the way, and they stay in my hair just fine. Well, that was like a bad example. I didn't even get any hair. Like, let's say, let's take this chunk. See? Okay. Also, just to give you an idea of what it looks like on a bow, once it's completed with a partially lined alligator clip. Now, you can use any type of alligator clip or any type of barrette you want to make a bow. It doesn't matter. It's whatever your preference is as the maker. Again, I prefer the, the single prong alligator clip. This is what it looks like when it's not lined. Top, bottom. So that is an unlined alligator clip. And then, like I said, this is a partially lined alligator clip. Let me see if I can get those together for you so you can take a look. Okay, so today I'm gonna teach you how to line an alligator clip. Now, you can do this step at the very beginning of your bow making process. You can do this in mass, meaning let's say you know you need 50 black alligator clips for a ton of bows that you're gonna be making. You can line them all consecutively at the same time. You can do it after your bow is made and then apply it to the bow. The preference is yours, again, as a maker. So make sure you're watching um, the video, taking notes. If you have any questions or if you have any ideas or there's any other tips or tricks you know to line an alligator clip, leave a comment below. I'm always looking to entertain new ideas. You know, I love to hear from other makers. And as always, if you like this video, make sure you're giving it a thumbs up and that you're following Instagram and Facebook as well. So what I'll do is I'll bust out the handy dandy glue gun. Now mind you, this is real, meaning my glue gun and its holder looks a little janky. And that's because it gets used heavily and extensively. I attempted to clean it up a little for this video, but it's I'm a maker, it gets used. So um, I'll zoom in so we can see things a little bit better and I'll talk you through the process. And again, I think I found a little faster way to do these. Some people talk about, you know, cutting certain lengths of ribbon to get started and everything else. I'm not about that. Keep your ribbon on your reel, on your spool, whatever you have it on, and that way you can continuously line your alligator clip. And let's say if you're off in your cut or your measurement, it doesn't matter. So um, stay tuned, and I'm gonna teach you how to line a partially lined alligator clip. All right, makers, welcome back. So I have everything set up that we're gonna be using today. I have my old faithful trusty hot glue gun. Like I said, it's been used. Uh, this stand is something I had made. It also holds all of a bunch of glue sticks for me, which comes in very handy since I go through those like crazy. I also brought over my lighters, the lined alligator clips, unlined two different size scissors, again, based on your preference, and you need three eighths ribbon. It's going to be whatever color of your choice. I chose this lime green because I want it to match this bow that I'll be making to um, coordinate with it. So I thought that the, the green would be a nice pop of color to accent the bow for the center and the clip. So when I was mentioned earlier, keep your ribbon on the spool that it's on. A lot of people like to cut the length that they think they need for the alligator clip ahead of time. To me, I think it's just more work. You're wasting time 
by cutting additional ribbon and everything else. Like, I like to save time. So I leave it on my spool. You can see I've used quite a bit of it, but I just leave it on there. But first, this is an uneven edge. If you can see that, I wanna go ahead and even that off. And I'm just cutting it in a straight line so that you can see that. Now we've got a straight line. Now, fray check, fray check, fray check. I cannot say this enough. When you fray check, you take a lighter. You can use a standard lighter like this. Um, a lot of people use those long stick ones, it, whatever your preference is. But when you fray check, you run the lighter along the edge of the ribbon because you want it to feel like a thickness to it, if that's the best way to describe it. So fray check it, run that lighter over there. You don't want to burn it and have a black end or anything like that. If you do get a black end, just cut it off and start over. So what I do with my lighters too, um, my husband does something to them. I don't even know what it is, but he takes a piece off. That's like the safety mechanism. So it makes it much easier for me to make the flame quickly. So that way I can do these over and over. Okay. Now you're going to take your unlined alligator clip. All right. So this, I call it is facing right side up, meaning it's sitting right on the bottom. Okay. So you're going to take your alligator clip and then you're going to flip it over. All right. And then use your finger and your thumb or whatever works best for you and open that bad boy up. Okay. Now you're going to want to line the bottom of what you're looking at with hot glue. Okay. Press my hot glue in. Okay. So just run a line of hot glue on there. And then you're going to take your 3 8 inch ribbon and you're going to start it at the back of that clip make it nice and even on the clip and just press it down gently. You don't want to burn your hands, which um, I don't know if I have fingerprints left anymore because I've burned my hands so much. Okay, so now what you want to do is flip your alligator clip right side up again. So now you're looking at it as if it was sitting flush on the table. You're going to run a line of hot glue along the top of the ribbon now. The clip, I'm sorry, the top of the clip. You don't need a ton because you don't want it oozing out side of your ribbon. And then you're gonna push your ribbon on to the clip, apply a little pressure to run it down nice and smooth. And if you hear me sniffling, I apologize. I've been sick for about three weeks, still getting over it. So just apologize in advance. So now we've got this portion, flip over this portion of your alligator clip. <clears throat> now, you're gonna go to the back of your alligator clip where the, where the prong is, right here. Now there's two different ways you can do this. You can line it so it just goes over the prong and then it'll look like, sorry. It'll look like this as a finished project. That is not my preference. I think, um, I think it looks unfinished that way. My preference is to put a bead of glue here and a bead of glue here and line it completely. So glue, glue, okay. Take your ribbon, push it in on the top and push it out on the bottom. And so you're lining the entire inside, if you, if you see that. See, now all the metal is covered. That's my personal preference. <clears throat> now on the back, so this is the back side. This is the part that is touching the whoever's wearing the hair bow, this is the part that's touching the hair. So you don't want to line this all the way because then you're going to have it slip out. So this is why it's partially lined because generally as a rule of thumb, you want to stop that ribbon, sorry about that shine, before you get to that center slit where there's an opening. So I just eyeball it, cut your ribbon, okay? So now you have this extra ribbon on your clip, okay? Now you need to fray check this end because again, fray check, fray check, fray check. You don't want this coming unraveled because it will come unraveled if you don't fray check. Then take your glue gun and put some glue right there. Again, you don't have to go overboard because you don't want it oozing out. And then lay your ribbon flat against it. And let's say you had too much, for example, too much ribbon, let's cut it where you want it. And then now we have a partially lined alligator clip. 
So I'll do it one more time from scratch. Okay, got my alligator clip. Again, set it on the bottom like it's resting flat. You want it to do that. Make sure you have a straight edge you're starting with with your 3 8 Fray check it. There's other ways you can fray check. I know there's like a, like a glue you can put on and other stuff. That stuff takes way too time, way too much time. I'm not into that. I need, I need fast. I like instant gratification. So again, we're gonna start. Take your, take your clip, flip it over. Okay, flip it over. Open it up, and you're gonna run your glue along that opening. Okay, take your three eighths, put it all the way to the back of the clip. Make sure it's even. If it's not even, you can usually pull it off and redo it. Okay, now you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna line this portion of your clip. So this is the top. Okay. Push it down. Now, here's what it looks like. And here's our opening. So dab a glue here, dab a glue there on the inside of the prongs for that polished look. Take your ribbon, push it in and out. So it's applied to both sides. Okay. See, that's what it looks like. Metal's covered. And then, Cut off where you think, like I do. I don't like to measure. I'm big on eyeballing. Okay, here's the back of your clip. Sorry about that glare. And then push your ribbon down. Okay, so this is the part that's gonna be touching the hair or the head. This is the part that's gonna go against the bow. So that once you're done, This is what it looks like on a bow, on a finished bow. See how that opens up? Again, sorry for that glare from that metal, but that alligator clip is lined on the bow. And then let's say if for some reason, you know, the kid was messing with the bow and it looked all crazy, you're not gonna see any metal sticking out because the alligator clip is lined with the white. Okay, so that's your finished alligator clip. Congratulations, maker. That is step one. Step one, just step one of making a bow. But it is the most important because you want your bow to look polished. You want it to look clean and you want to stay consistent in your quality and how you make your bows so that everybody knows, oh, Wonderland Boutique lines all their alligator clips and make sure that none of that metal is showing for a polished and clean look. Okay, welcome back. Congratulations, makers. That is step one of your bow making tutorials and journey. It's a little item, but it's the most important because you wanna make sure that your customers know that you line your alligator clips a certain way and that Wonderland Boutique prides themselves on quality. You wanna ensure that you have that quality and consistency that your customers are looking at. So here's a close up again of what that looks like completed against the bow. Now, I cannot stress it enough to line your alligator clip. If you have a different way of doing it or any other suggestions, be sure to leave me a comment below. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. Share it with your friends and family and make sure you're following Facebook and Instagram because that's where I post new products. I'll let you know of new videos coming out. And also I post a lot of different sales and giveaways and join our community of makers and let's get to know each other along the way. Thank you for stopping stopping by today to learn how to partially line an alligator clip, your first and most crucial step in your bow making journey. And I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.